Roadside 09 Acura MDX. Customer told me the car overhead and they parked it because it was overheating and now they can't get it started so they had a towed here. I got my suspicions what's going on. Uh, it's 3.7 liter. Pretty sure they got it so hot that they nuked it, you know, smoked the head gasket. Uh, I've been having some overheating issues, I guess, up until the point where, you know, it no longer runs. I'm going to try and run a test here that I've personally never done before and see if we can come up with something conclusive. So here's my thoughts. I'm pretty sure it nuked the head gasket. I have the WPS 500 hooked to the radiator. I use one of my test adapters out of my Astro kit. I've got this set on range 3. No, that's 1. That's two, that's range three. So it's gonna be like zero to five PSI. And just for the heck of it, I put a trigger here on the number four cylinder in case we see pulses. I don't know if we're gonna see a pulse or just a continuous build. Of course, the battery was dead, we got it nuked. Let me get the Pico up on the screen and then we'll see what we see. So if we look on the screen, uh, the blue trace, uh, you can see we got going zero to five PSI. Let's make sure that works. Unhook it, let me blow on it. Oh, wow hired so that looks like it works and then the red trace should be our trigger for the number four miss marie is in there hoping this works out all fancy all right go ahead and crank it marie all right that's good and you can see we are slightly going out of range and it is bleeding off now went all the way up to five psi just cranking uh, let me pause this. Let's back up a page. And nothing definitive. I was hoping for some definitive humps. But that is just a continual build of pretty insane pressure. So five pounds of pressure in the radiator just cranking it over. I guess it confirms my hunch. The engine is nuked, or the head gaskets are nuked. Uh, but that's pretty cool. See that started out at zero. I guess we can enhance. Enhance. I don't, unless, I guess unless we look at this area here, from here to here, it has like a build. And then from here to here, you know, it seems to build kind of in a step, but I don't know, perhaps that is because we're looking at, uh, if we take this away, does it still look that way? I don't know. I guess I would have to examine that a little more. I guess it's kind of redundant at this point. I was hoping it was blown on a single cylinder and we would see, uh, you know, a pulse. Let's give it some more definition here. I can't really say. But in either, either case, we can make the call. Just wanted to bring you along in case this was cooler than it was, but that's definitive. I'm gonna keep moving. Pretty quick and easy on that one, folks. Uh, not much more else to see. They obviously got the thing smoldering hot. I pulled the oil dipstick. It stinks. It looks like big charcoal on there. I'm gonna quote out an engine for this one. Not knowing the history on it, uh, I'd be hesitant to pull the heads on it unless the customer wants to. Anytime I've seen these Hondas, they get super hot. Usually the cylinders go out of round. You start measuring them and they'll be, you know, seven thousandths out. They'll be big time out of round. Uh, and if they got it hot to the point that it actually quit running, then I think the best bet would be to replace the engine, either you know, reman one or use one, but I see the car has steel cords hanging out of all four tires too, so there's that, and then we don't know if there's any other damage that was caused as a result of the overheating. So I'm gonna keep moving. You guys move on down there to this subscription box, or description box, click subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you think. And just remember viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.